Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how Emptance in Android works. So what are Emptance? Android Intent is a math message that is passed between components such as activities, content providers, broadcast receivers, services, and etc. Don't worry, you will learn all of the, these concepts in our course. So. Uh, just for uh, information that these lessons are uh, made uh, and uh, are found in the Master Android app and Master Android Pro app found on Play Store. So you can download it and we help the, about 800,000 people to learn Android with a rating 4.7 from 20,000 uh, users. So back to Intense, it's it generally used with start activity methods to invoke activity broadcast receivers and etc the dictionary means of intent is intention or purpose so it can be described as intention to do action so intent is android and android intents are mainly used to start a service launch an activity display a web page display a list of contacts broadcast a message and dial a phone call and etc so whenever you need an action to be done by clicking something and you need to display a, uh, to display user uh, next uh, an activity or start as a service or download in uh, in uh, background you need an intent so displaying a list of contents uh, like, uh, contacts like dial a phone broadcast is done by Intense. So, if we are on activity number A or uh, activity A, first activity, start activity is called and intent, intent is called. We need to, uh, to go to activity B. If we need to, uh, from A to navigate to B, activity B, we, uh, uh, the Android system, will pass the intent to Android system and then the intent com comes back to the on create method and activity B will be launched. Don't worry, we'll see an example in Android Studio. So back to Android Studio, we go here and in order to create an activity in Android Studio, we go to the projects, app, Java and the package name. We click on a left side, a left uh, click, new and activity, basic activity or empty activity, empty activity. So this is activity, activity B. Okay. And this is activity B. Now, let's let's uh, see the uh, the layout of uh, the activity B. We click on Control, and we hover over the uh, activity B layout, and you click it. This is the activity B. We drag a text view, and let's. Let's put uh, a text here. This is activity B. So this is activity B. All attributes. I just want to increase the size. Increase the size of the text view. 36. Okay. Activity B is, I will close them and this text I will call here. This is activity A. Okay, so this is activity A. We need to increase the size of the text in order to uh, manage 
and uh, see what's happening understand what's happening and i will drag a button here so if you don't uh, know about buttons back to the sections about widgets so button and i will put put here it id is button and on, i can uh, specify on click method here or it uh, on click uh, method or on click uh, handling the click click events uh, here or programmatically uh, i prefer using programmatically uh, programmatic Progro, programmatically uh, method click me to go to go to activity b this is our this is our app so back to the main activity i just want to i just want to remove or uh, don't remove them i need to make a button uh, instantiate the button click alt plus enter to import the package and button now we go to on create method we call we put button dot or equal find view by id r dot id dot button so and button dot set on click listener new view on click listener and here we need to specify the intents so what are the intents how to uh, uh, clarify them we, we put intent you have an error just alt plus enter and import class intent i equal new intent as we learned in uh, in java section that if you want to make an instance of a class this is a class called intent and this is the instance called i equal to new intent so this is the form how to create an instance of uh, uh, instance of class now activity b dot class get application context because we are using uh, or we are inside the button uh, on create method then button then on uh, on click we are we need to put on get application context now we start activity activity and specify i so let's run and see Okay, click me to go to activity B and this is activity B. Very good, it's working fine. So back and click me, if I click back, activity A will be found. Okay, now just I want to show you uh, another type if we uh, want to, another form of, uh, of making intents in Android. Uh, here we go to uh, to get the context we say we call the get application context so if I, I want to remove this and I want to create a new method called go to activity B and I will create uh, this method so under the onCreate method, I will create this method. So I will click Alt, Alt plus Enter and create Go activity and then main activity and it is created. Now I can call intent in the same manner I equal new intent 
this and activity b dot class start activity and all. okay so what is the difference between this method and uh, uh, what uh, uh, and the previous method if i click here run it's working the same so just the uh, you may uh, you may uh, encounter in your pro in your development process and uh, maybe uh, later stages that android has different forms uh, or uh, codes has different forms so if uh, if you remember that on click here because i'm using a button and i'm in create method and i'm using a, a button and inside an implemented method and overrided method uh, called on click of the button i used get application context but if it is a uh, um, an independent uh, uh, method new method we can use this this is the application or the package context so i'm just clarifying that context may be different and if uh, you if i copy this it will not work here in on create on uh, button and on click message because there is an error cannot resolve constructor because there is no uh, because the application context we need is it is not this we need to put get application context to resolve the error thank you guys i hope you uh, rate us five stars and uh, see our uh, youtube uh, channel subscribe it uh, it is android master app and uh, you can download master android pro from uh, play store and get all the lessons written uh, and uh, video tutorials with quizzes and uh, we help about 800,000 people to learn android thank you guys and i hope you rate us and i hope you rate us and